Would you prefer traveling by train rather than a plane? Maybe not. But what if we tell you there is a country where traveling by train is both cheap and fast? So now which one would you pick? China is the only country where people prefer traveling on high-speed trains rather than planes. Not only are Chinese trains faster in the world, but they are even better than their airlines. The distance from Washington, D.C. to Dallas is around 1,300 miles, the same distance from Hong Kong to Beijing. But it takes one day and 13 hours to reach Washington, D.C. to Dallas. While from Hong Kong to Beijing, it only takes less than nine hours, thanks to the Chinese railways. Hello, everyone. Glad to have you back to another exciting episode of our channel. Innovation World brings you China's innovation stories and projects in different parts of the world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially China's development, you will find our videos intriguing. In this video, we will talk about why China is best at building railways and how it has made its railways better than its airlines. Let's get started. A decade ago, China was thinking about connecting cities by bullet trains. And today, it has more than 37900 high-speed rail lines. China's high-speed rail lines are more than the entire world's rail lines combined. And in 2035, the network is expected to grow double to 70000 kilometers. China has 500 times as much high-speed track as the U.S. It is surprising to see how much development they have made in such a short time. High-speed trains were only present in rich countries like Japan, Germany, and the U.S. But China started developing its railway network in the 2000s financial crisis. So, a not very rich country making high-speed trains was never expected to be the best at it. But China has made impossible things possible in a few years. Currently, China is number one on the list of countries possessing high-speed trains. But that was not always the case. The first country to ever debut a high-speed train was Japan in 1969. At that time, high speed was defined as 200 kph. After the debut, all countries tried to compete and started to develop high-speed trains one after another. While every country competed to make high-speed trains, China was never in the competition. But now China is known for its high-speed trains. In places where it takes one hour to travel by plane, Chinese trains only take two hours. And if you add the time taken in checking and security while traveling on a plane, trains seem to be a better option. And apart from taking almost the same time, trains are also very cheap compared to planes. With 350 kph speed, trains have become more dominant than planes, even on the busiest routes. This was also China's main goal to build these trains. China wanted to make a high-speed rail that would be used domestically for long distances. Building these railways benefited China not only economically, but also politically. In the past, many railways in North America were made with the same goals. Many colonies took decades to make railways, but only China made it possible in a few years. In the initial stages of development, China used to rely on European countries. High-speed technology was imported from Europe and Japan, but over the last decade, everything has changed. China's domestic companies have now become the world's high-speed technology giants. Before we continue further, tell us are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos about China's development, power, and influence on the world. Let's continue now. But only developing in speed did not satisfy China completely. So they took a step further to introduce the new autonomous technology. These driverless bullet trains are able to hit a speed of 350 kph, thus becoming the world's fastest autonomous trains. This autonomous bullet train connects Beijing and Zhengjiakou. The 174-kilometer journey, which was covered in three hours, now only takes 60 minutes. But now the question is, how and why has China made all this progress in very little time? First, making a one-kilometer railway in China cost them less than in any other country. For instance, one kilometer of high-speed track cost them around $17, $21 million. While in Europe, the price for a one-kilometer high-speed railway track is $25 to $39 million. In the simple world, China can get cheap materials and also cheap labor. Everything used in making the railways come from domestic producers. In the 2000 financial crisis, China thought to increase its railway network, and until 2010, they decided to expand it ever more. And that's how they started to appear as a country with high-speed rail. While making the railways, one of the factors to keep China going was, of course, politics. Apart from that, it's China's goal to be carbon neutral by 2060, and high-speed trains help. China in that goal as well. 
What else pushed China to develop high-speed trains more and more was its airlines. China's airlines lack punctuality, and for that reason China is more focused on its trains. While trains charge you less money and there is no schedule delay, what's the point of developing airlines? Also, China's military controls three quarters of China, so until the military planes give a go-ahead, commercial flights have to wait. So for commercial benefits, Chinese trains had to complete their own airlines, which they did. They have successfully competed with the airlines and are far better than planes in China. In many cities, airlines have almost ceased because the trains have attracted more customers. The Chinese trains are holding it economically, not the airlines. And for that reason, China is trying more and more to develop railways and high-speed trains. The Chinese government has debuted the world's fastest maglev trains. These trains can reach a speed of 600 kph. A year back, the Chinese government talked about planning to start magnetic levitation trains. And in this short time, these trains are running in China right now. Now the question is whether other countries can compete with China in high-speed trains. Not at all. It looks like all the odds are in China's favor. And that's why they were able to make huge development possible. But for other countries, things are not that easy. For example, in Europe, the flights are cheap, so they are definitely not willing to compete with China. So although China is not the first country to make high-speed trains, the way they have used the knowledge and made development is incredible. Even if countries like the U.S. want to beat China in leading the high-speed railway arena, perhaps, they just cannot. China is ensuring that the technology and infrastructure it installs are unparalleled in the world. Therefore, if all the Western countries join hands, building such long and reliable high-speed railways won't be that easy. That's the reason why China has reached Latin America and is helping them set up infrastructures like high-speed railways that America cannot offer. Would it be possible for other countries ever to complete China in high-speed trains? Will China ever face any competitors or not? Comment right below in the comment section. Was it a good step for China to make development in railways or not? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing. Until the next video, stay tuned.